Well, sometimes people complain that Microsoft doesn't listen to feedback. So here we are in the feedback app. Uh, people complain about the loss of the ability to group your icons in Windows 11. Originally, Windows 11 uh, it removed the functionality. So now we're going to take a look how it's back in the Insider version. And it's uh, pretty much the same as what you saw in Windows 10. If you want to group an icon, you just drag one from one area to another on top of the existing one. And it'll start to shrink it, and it'll be in a group. And you'll see it there. In this case, I've moved uh, Twitter uh, onto Instagram, and now I have a group. I click at the top, and rename it Social Media, click off to anywhere else on the side, and there you have your group. And you can scroll down and get any of the other icons as well uh, down here. If I scroll down and I find uh, there's Facebook, I just installed it, as a matter of fact. I go up here and drag it to that group, and boom, now there's three of them in there. And just like in the regular icons, you can drag them in whatever order you want. There they are. They're fine. And when you click away, again, to uh, shrink it after you reorder them the way you want, uh, they appear just like that in the menu. And, of course, you don't have to stop with just one. Let's say we want all different types. For example, uh, utilities. Uh, we can grab uh, certain things. Well, let's go to productivity, maybe. Calendar and mail. So let's throw those together. And now that we have those, we'll just click on it like we did the other one. We're going to go up here and set it the name and call it, uh, I don't know, productivity. And boom, there we are. And we click elsewhere and there's productivity. Uh, I've created another groups as well. Over here is a couple of them. Uh, utilities. Let's call this one utilities. Uh, calendar and notepad. Boom. Uh, it's ready to go as well. So I'm going to drop some more things in there, that uh, productivity types of apps. Uh, put Outlook because I have Office 365. I throw it there. Uh, and then I come back over here and I grab some other stuff for Office like PowerPoint. So I grab it and drag it over there and drop it in. And then I realize, oh, maybe this is getting a little bit too crowded. I don't want to put a word in there and all that, but maybe I shouldn't. So I go back here to productivity grab it, drop it anywhere else on the outside. Uh, and now it's all by itself again. But now I go ahead and grab Word and put it with it. And now we have two Office apps and then Excel uh, so that they're together. And now I want to call this, well, how about Office? So it may take you a few times to get different groups all, all situated and everything. Um, and But then once you have your multiple groups, you can move the entire group by dragging and holding the group and moving it whenever order you think is the easiest for you to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is my Winsider test machine. I normally don't have games on it, but I installed a couple just to demonstrate another grouping you may like to do. In order to add it, you must first, of course, right-click and say pin the start. Again, once they're on the start menu, you have to scroll down to the latest ones where at the bottom, and we simply drag on top of the other like we did before, and there's the new group. I'm just going to call this Games. You can have several different ones, like first-person shooters or whatever you want. Uh, but once we have it created, we just drag it up to the top and put it whenever you want to have it, beginning, end of your groups, wherever you want to see it in your list. One thing about it, though, you have to notice that there's only two here and you see some spaces. Here you see four, but there's actually five. So you want to put these in whichever order uh, you think you want to see them with the preview icon. So if we go there and put Outlook there, then we'll see Outlook. It doesn't really make a difference. All you need to know is that your Office apps are there. But we all have a little OCD. So if you want to see the ones that are there first, uh, go ahead and arrange them like you want. The only thing to remember is that as of the date of this video, this has only been released to Windows Insider Program and is not available to the general public. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. And if you want some more, please subscribe to The Old Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.